I was on holiday in Europe and uh, ended up in the southeast of Germany in a small village called Hernhut. And uh, that's where this prayer meeting took place back in the 18th century under a guy with the funky name of Count Ludwig Nikolaus von Zinzendorf. Great name that. They, they, they kind of got together there and uh, the Christians had been arguing and all this kind of stuff. And basically they began to apologise to one another and they had a communion service on the 13th of August 1727. And as a result, a prayer meeting started that, get this, lasted non-stop for 100 years. So anyway, I'm wandering around this little village where all this stuff took place and um, thinking, well, if they could go non-stop for 100 years, maybe we could go for a month non-stop. So we got a room, we... Um had a big writer and everyone signed up for hours at a time and we decked it out and made it really creative. Some people who like DJing got the decks in the prayer room and some people who like art just got laser paint. And for that hour or two hours, however long you've booked out, you can, you can just be yourself. You can put music on loud, you can have music on quietly, you can have no music. If you're like me, you won't paint. If you're an artist, you'll grab the paints and paint. And at the end of the first month, we couldn't stop. At the end of the second month, we couldn't stop. The end of the third month, the thing then just exploded. Then Is it true today that when people pray? Cloudless skies will break Kings and queens will shake Yes, it's true 